Much like life in general, professional wrestling unfortunately has the potential to be uncomfortable on occasion. Don't get me wrong, it definitely has its high points. Yet for every outstanding piece of top class in-ring action, there will always be another unwanted moment which thoroughly drags the wrestling community back down to the ground with a sickening thud. Accidents happen and mistakes are sometimes made in this business, folks, but that doesn't make them any less disturbing when they play out on our screens. I'm Gareth from What Culture Wrestling, and here are 10 recent wrestling moments which were too uncomfortable to watch. Number 10. Montez Ford comes down hard on the road to WrestleMania. With no fans in the arena filling the room with sound, every kick, punch, and slam sounded like a knockout blow when WWE temporarily moved over to the Performance Center this year. This was initially actually quite cool in the early days, but that lack of atmosphere eventually led to many fans fearing the worst after one particularly nasty sounding and looking botch on Raw. During a bout which saw Raw tag team champions the Street Profits teaming with Kevin Owens to take on Angel Garza, Austin Theory, and Seth Rollins, Montez Ford decided to soar over the top rope onto an unsuspecting Theory. That was the problem, though. Theory didn't prepare himself for Ford's arrival, and so the star ended up landing on the ramp with an almighty bang, which sounded that much more dreadful due to the emptiness of the PC. Ford wasn't seriously hurt, thank God, but the botch didn't make for easy watching then, and it still doesn't today. Number 9. Ivar Gives Himself a Stinger It's always disturbing watching a professional wrestler legitimately go down injured during a match, especially when that injury has something to do with their head, neck, or spine. One of these unfortunate instances recently went down during yet another multi-man match on Monday Night Raw, involving the Viking Raiders Apollo Crews and Ricochet battling against Bobby Lashley, Shelton Benjamin, MVP, and a newly healed Cedric Alexander. As the Hurt Business wandered around dazed on the floor, Ivar sensed this was the perfect moment to nail the trio with a dive through the ropes. Yet instead of harpooning the group with his body and quickly getting back to his feet, Ivar began to beat his arms and gingerly move on the ground. It was later reported that the star had suffered a stinger during the sequence, which explains why the ringside medics were so reluctant to move him or an awkwardly positioned MVP. The former Raw Tag Team Champion now looks set to undergo surgery and could be out of action for the next year or so. Going forward, hopefully he thinks twice before attempting that spot in the future, as nobody wants to see the turkey leg munching viking in that sort of worrying position again. Number 8. Cody Rhodes Takes a Chair to the Skull WWE have been known to ban certain moves from television for rather peculiar reasons in the past. With that being said, though, the company did have every right to ban brutal chair shots to the head. And the incident involving Cody Rhodes at AEW's 2019 Fighter Fest explains exactly why these moves aren't at all necessary in modern wrestling. Despite the company going out of their way to use a gimmicked chair, the former WWE star was severely cut open and rocked by the chair shot Sean Spears delivered to his unprotected head, due to the weapon wrapping around the back of his skull. With what we now know, about how repeated head trauma and concussions can affect wrestlers in later life, this move was incredibly uncomfortable to watch and also felt like a serious backward step for the fledgling company. Number 7. Kyrie Sane Gets Knocked Out Towards the end of Kyrie Sane's run in WWE, the performer was unfortunately at the center of a number of moments which left fans deeply concerned about her well-being. Firstly, in December 2019, Sane was involved in a women's tag team championship tables, ladders, and chairs match at the TLC pay-per-view. The Kabuki Warriors went to war with Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch in the dangerous encounter. However, it soon became apparent midway through the bout that something was wrong with the pirate princess. After a failed splash to Lynch and Flair on a table, Sane looked visually concussed and struggled to get her body up for a powerbomb through a table spot soon after. If this moment wasn't scary enough, a few months later, Sane was involved in another grisly bump gone wrong on Raw. This time, Nia Jack sent the former NXT Women's Champion's head flying into the bottom turnbuckle after a botched buckle bomb. This incident later led to the move being officially banned by WWE. As much as we were sad to see Sane leave the company earlier this year, 
At least her absence now means we won't have to see her involved in any more uncomfortable in-ring situations like this again for the foreseeable future. Number 6. Matt Riddle's Interview Regarding a Baron Corbin Tweet Using real-life events to further a program or add some extra spice to a bit of rivalry can be a powerful tool when used correctly. However, there have been a few occasions when WWE have completely misused this tactic and left fans feeling extremely uncomfortable because of it. That's exactly how the audience felt when Matt Riddle was being interviewed backstage at this year's Payback pay-per-view. The former MMA star was one of the names mentioned in the recent Speaking Out movement on social media, leading to some suggesting that he should probably be kept off television until the situation was cleared up. Yet this didn't affect WWE's plans for the King of Bros and his debut went ahead as scheduled. Then, during the aforementioned conversation at Payback, a deeply unsettling tweet sent out by King Baron Corbin was read out to Riddle on live television. Corbin tweeted, Tonight, I prove that Matt Riddle is a failure in a WWE ring. By the way, he's already proven that he's a failure at home. Riddle said nothing and simply changed his demeanor from relaxed to serious. Yet yeah, this dumb attempt to fuse Riddle's real-life allegations and home life into a nothing feud with Corbin quickly felt like a desperate attempt to get eyes on the two. Thankfully, it was ignored by the time the following episode of SmackDown hit our screens. Number 5. Chris Statlander's Awkward Poison Rana Landing Unfortunately, botches can happen at any time, and one particularly horrific one went down on a recent episode of AEW Dynamite. During a women's fatal four-way match involving Hikaru Shida, Chris Statlander, Britt Baker, and Penelope Ford, a rather unexpected landing threatened to derail the entire encounter. As Statlander hoisted Ford up on her shoulders and carried her towards the ropes, the latter decided now was the time to pull off an impressive poison rana. However, Statlander wasn't able to properly sync up with Ford's movements and was left hanging in midair for a split second too long before the top of her head crashed into the mat. Luckily, AEW's resident alien was able to continue on, but at first glance, it looked like she could have severely injured her neck during the unfortunate incident. She would eventually be sidelined with a knee injury a few weeks later, after a dive onto Kip Sabian outside of the ring. So here's hoping Statlander is able to avoid more painful accidents like these when she finally returns to our screens. Number 4. Pretty much everything that happened in the Lana Lashley Rusev program from the very first moment Bobby Lashley returned to Monday Night Raw in September 2019 and began smooching Rusev's real-life wife, Lana, on the entrance ramp, it seemed like we were in for a long, long and excruciating ride. Countless excessively long kissing segments, attempts to brand Rusev as a sex addict, and an incredibly awkward wedding which eventually led to nothing more than a few mixed tag matches and a Liv Morgan storyline that went absolutely nowhere, left fans wishing they'd switched off their TVs at the first sight of Lashley and Lana locking lips all those months before. Mercifully, the pair were finally split up in June of this year, and Rusev, or Miro, has since escaped the company to become All Elite. Now let's just forget this ever happened, okay? Number 3. Vince McMahon's Bizarre Triple H Tribute It's fair to say there have been more than a few strange moments during the recent WWE crowdless era, which have left fans questioning their loyalty to the product. One of these very surreal instances came during Friday Night SmackDown's 25th anniversary tribute to the game Triple H. After Hunter and old pal Shawn Michaels had done their best to fill the time in the eerily empty performance center, WWE Chairman Vincent Kennedy McMahon strutted out onto the entrance ramp and cut the most bizarre promo we'd seen in quite some time. McMahon mumbled his way through a few digs at his son-in-law's expense, classing him as boring before noting that he still wasn't quite as boring as the gobbledygooker. McMahon then took things up an unusual notch by comparing Triple H's bad performance to the infamous Katie Vick funeral home and Bailey This Is Your Life segments. The boss then finally signed off with the words, Good night, Padre bringing this entire car crash promo to an abrupt end once the lights were suddenly turned out on the D-Generation X members. Fanless wrestling is pretty awkward and abnormal at the best of times, but this stream of McMahon consciousness is easily among the most uncomfortable wrestling moments you're ever likely to see. Number 2. Jeff Hardy is framed for driving under the influence 
Some subjects are just too sensitive to focus a professional wrestling feud around, and doing so will only leave fans feeling deeply, deeply uncomfortable. Jeff Hardy's past issues with drug and alcohol addiction is undoubtedly one of these subjects. But that did not stop WWE throwing the recently returned charismatic Enigma into a scenario which must have been as difficult for him to portray as it was for us to watch this year. Hardy's recent feud with Sheamus became that little more intense after he was framed for a DUI incident an event which saw Elias getting kayfabe injured after being hit by a car. In the weeks that followed this unsettling sight, Hardy was then forced to take a urine test in the middle of the ring, and Sheamus regularly taunted him for being a junkie. Needless to say, the constant highlighting of Hardy's troubled past did not make their rivalry a must-see program. If anything, it did the opposite. Fans were happy to see the back of the two veterans' unsavory program, and hopefully that's the last time WWE tried to drag up Hardy's history for the sake of a bit of controversy. Don't count on it, though. Number 1. Matt Hardy's Horrific All-Out Bump It's pretty hard to look past Matt Hardy's recent all-out fall as the most disturbing wrestling moment fans have witnessed in recent times. As Hardy and Sammy Guevara battled for control at the top of a scissor lift at AEW's recent All Out pay-per-view, Guevara tackled Hardy off the high platform and threw some tables below. Yet instead of landing as safely as possible on the structures beneath them, Hardy's head collided with the concrete floor, and the former WWE star was knocked out cold. He eventually came round, but referee Aubrey Edwards called for the match to be ended. Then the bout was bizarrely restarted, and the duo concluded the contest after Guevara was knocked off some scaffolding. AEW have quite rightly come under fire for their decision to allow a clearly concussed Hardy to continue. But the most important thing is that the brilliant performer is safe and well at this time. Perhaps leave the high-risk spots to the youngsters from now on though, Matt, yeah? I don't think my heart can take much more. And that's our list! Know of any other recent wrestling moments which were too uncomfortable to watch? Let us know all about them in the comments section below, and do not forget to like, share, and click on that subscribe button. Also, be sure to head on over to whatculture.com and click on some more awesome articles just like the one this video right here is based on. I've been Gareth from Whatculture Wrestling, thank you very much for watching today, and I'm sure I'll see you very, very soon!